Extraterrestrial life encompasses life forms that didn't originate on Earth and are not native to our planet. This term includes various forms of life beyond Earth, ranging from viruses to plant-like organisms. Some individuals even go as far as seeking creatures that share remarkable similarities with humans, potentially surpassing their complexity, often referred to as aliens. However, the question remains, if there is indeed life beyond Earth, why hasn't any definitive evidence emerged so far? Do these so-called extraterrestrial beings truly exist? Join us as we delve into this enduring enigma. Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy, signifying your interest in staying connected with the substance of our videos. Fermi Paradox the Fermi Paradox originates from physicist Enrico Fermi's thoughts in 1950. Fermi postulated the existence of extraterrestrial life or intelligence. He proposed that advanced extraterrestrial intelligence should be capable of surviving for millions of years, enabling them to colonize entire galaxies through intergalactic and interstellar travel. Fermi even extended his idea, suggesting that this colonization might have already occurred. However, the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life has yielded no conclusive results, leading to a paradox for the scientist. Consequently, he re-evaluated his observations and assumptions, resulting in the Fermi paradox. Given the age of the universe and the abundance of stars, Fermi speculated that life should exist beyond Earth, unless the process of life's origin on our planet is rare, known as the rare Earth hypothesis. This notion posits that Earth's position in our solar system isn't unique, and that other advanced civilizations might exist in our galaxy. Despite the Milky Way spanning about 100,000 light years, a sublight drive would require up to 10 million years to traverse such distances, implying that the galaxy's age is roughly 10 billion years. If a civilization in the Milky Way can colonize between stars, the entire galaxy could be fully colonized in just a few million years. This time frame is significantly shorter than the Milky Way's age, which is much older than the approximately 20 million years required for full colonization. As a result, the expectation is that extraterrestrial life should exist somewhere relatively close to Earth. However, up to the present day, concrete evidence of such life remains elusive. In summary, the paradox arises from the question, if extraterrestrial beings exist, why haven't we encountered them? The Drake Equation The Drake Equation is closely linked to the Fermi Paradox. Currently, many of the variables in this equation remain unknown, making it ineffective in resolving the paradox. The Drake Equation's scope is limited to our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which is a barred spiral galaxy. This galaxy type makes up around two-thirds of all galaxies observed in the universe. Considering that there are approximately up to 100 billion similar galaxies to the Milky Way, the final value derived from the Drake Equation would need to be multiplied by a factor to account for the entire universe. While this greatly increases the potential number of civilizations, the lack of detailed knowledge about other galaxies introduces significant uncertainty into these calculations. Moreover, the Drake Equation addresses not only the theoretical count of civilizations, but also their potential for contact. The nearest galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, is situated 2.5 million light-years away, rendering practical contact unfeasible. This applies to all other galaxies as well, reinforcing the notion that we might be alone. One perspective posits that multicellular life's existence in space is rare, as even Earth-like planets are scarce. This rarity stems from a series of unlikely coincidences that allowed life to emerge on Earth. Factors like the presence of our Moon and Earth's strategic position within the solar system, maintaining a habitable temperature, contribute to these coincidences. This explanation alters the parameters of the Drake Equation, 
to propose that our civilization is unique in the galaxy we inhabit. By doing so, the Fermi paradox becomes less perplexing as one of its underlying assumptions is negated. Many scientists find this hypothesis compelling. However, some experts maintain that Earth-like planets do indeed exist, especially with the growing number of exoplanet discoveries supporting this notion. Impossibility of interstellar colonization. The Fermi paradox hinges on the existence of a civilization capable of interstellar colonization. Yet this requirement faces an inherent challenge. While the concept allows for the potential existence of technical civilizations, the vast spatial distances between them make meaningful interaction improbable. Take the example of the Sun's distance to Proxima Centauri, the nearest star, which even at the speed of light would require several years to reach. However, current understanding dictates that the speed of light is an insurmountable barrier leading to pertinent questions. Firstly, we ponder whether civilizations could truly venture to other star systems, considering the enormous travel times. Moreover, we contemplate if such interstellar travel would indeed offer benefits to a civilization. Additionally, the issue of time disparity emerges. How much temporal difference in communication between populations from distinct star systems would be acceptable for cohesive interaction? According to Stephen Hawking, life beyond Earth is likely, including the potential for human-like intelligence. Nonetheless, Hawking suggests that this intelligence may eventually encounter limitations and instability, potentially leading to its own downfall. Various factors could catalyze this, such as genetically engineered viruses, nuclear conflicts, or uncontrollable greenhouse effects. These hazards could inadvertently result in the self-extinction of such intelligent organisms. Berserker Theory and Dark Forest Theory The Berserker Theory, coined in honor of Fred Saberhagen's Berserker Sada, postulates that extraterrestrial beings dispatched artificial probes into space. These probes are designed to annihilate other civilizations deliberately, eradicating potential threats early on. This orchestrated destruction aims to clear the way for the aliens to expand throughout space without encountering opposition. Diverse viewpoints exist regarding the specific methods of extermination employed by these probes. Similarly, the Dark Forest theory, named after Liu Sixon's trilogy, The Dark Forest, follows a thematically analogous trajectory. In this perspective, extraterrestrial life does indeed exist, yet these civilizations opt for subtlety and camouflage to remain inconspicuous. The purpose behind this behavior is to minimize the risk of being targeted by potential adversaries. This approach mirrors the concept of camouflage in the realm of biology. Essentially, this theory envisions the universe as a dark forest populated by various predators, vying for optimal camouflage to ensure their survival. Astrophysical Explanation Gamma-ray bursts are currently recognized as the most potent occurrences in the cosmos. This distinction stems from the immense energy they release, which can lead to widespread fatalities and the obliteration of planets situated within their radiation cones spanning distances measured in light years. As a result, the potential exists for advanced life forms to have been eradicated by these bursts. In the context of galaxies, the progression towards intricate life forms is believed to have faced insurmountable barriers during the initial five billion years following the universe's inception due to the overwhelming presence of intense gamma ray activity. The mathematical a priori argument. Astrophysicist J. Richard God challenges the viability of the hypothesis proposing the colonization of galaxies as he asserts that in such a scenario, all forms of life would be encompassed within a singular super-civilization. In his viewpoint, if various civilizations indeed existed, it would seem improbable that Earth, 
a relatively young and modest celestial body, would have been chosen as the site for our origin, especially considering that it had not yet been subject to colonization at that juncture. The Great Filter Concept The concept of the Great Filter amalgamates some of the aforementioned arguments. This idea posits that existence of a significant hurdle or challenge referred to as the Great Filter that must be surmounted to attain a certain level of civilization. This filter presents an arduous obstacle that makes achieving this level exceedingly difficult. One possibility suggests that the emergence of higher intelligence in the course of evolution is exceptionally rare. Under this assumption, humanity would stand as the solitary life form to successfully navigate this great filter thus far. An alternative perspective proposes that as civilizations expand, inherent developments are inherently linked, often culminating in the eventual demise of the civilization. According to this scenario, other civilizations would have faltered in surpassing the Great Filter, while humanity might be poised to be the first to transcend it one. Antiquity also offers philosophical musings on the potential existence of extraterrestrial life. Another quandary in the realm of astrobiology pertains to the lack of a universally accepted definition of life. Several endeavors have aimed to delineate life, yet none have been exhaustive or fully satisfying. This may imply that a clear demarcation between living and non-living entities does not firmly exist. Moreover, even if life resembling that on Earth exists elsewhere, it remains uncertain whether this life originated on Earth and subsequently spread throughout space, or if it autonomously evolved elsewhere independent of Earth. Now is your turn. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.